In the meantime, the former candidate of the PDP in the Ondo state, in Ondo state has been reacting to today's judgment, recognizing Aita Jagede as the PDP's candidate in Saturday's election. In a statement, Mr. Ibrahim says that he is optimistic that he will get justice as the Supreme Court will sit on the same case tomorrow and so has nothing to lose by today's judgment. He asks his supporters not to abuse anyone or fight over this one-day ruling, insisting that he will remain the PDP and he will remain in the PDP and work for the progress of the party. In an earlier telephone interview earlier today, he said that his name was not mentioned in the judgment, so he remains the legitimate candidate for the PDP. I am the can I remember the candidate of PDP in Saturday's all those states election for governorship. Why? Because there is no consequential order directing I make to remove my name. So it will really copy of the order. There is nothing specific that mentions my name that that I should be removed from the list. So the PDP won't get it on Saturday I'm the governor. Because the she could have been uh, judgment is fake, is nebulous, and it's, it's uh, ambiguous. If you have a copy of it, I can send it to you. You have one that. There is no where my name is mentioned in the enrollment of all the objects. So you cannot infer. And if you infer, you are on your own, and the Supreme Court will lock it up. So I remember the candidate. I don't know the sheriff, he's not the one that sent my name to INEC. My name was sent to INEC by Bowie. And because Sheriff has de de dedicated his power to Bowie when there was no dispute in PDP, when Sheriff was undisputed chairman, INEC met, transferred their power in Southwest to Bowie in Odo. And then that is how I emerged.